Genshin is the game that has stolen so many people's hearts and even more their wallets. And it kind of did for me as well. So about five months ago, I started recording a video. It was titled the first time I started exploring Genshin. Now, if I recorded this five months ago, how come it isn't out yet? Well, my dear viewer, that's a really interesting question. It's simply because after I recorded this video, I started playing more Genshin. Ah! And then I played more Genshin. Yeah! Then I played more Genshin. And then the video never happens. After 500 hours of playing Genshin, I tried to look up the video again. And I think it's fun to explore what my first experience with the game was. I set up three challenges to experience the game to the fullest. First off is to discover a glitch in Genshin that I found online. Second off was to pull. And then I wanted to defeat a boss on my first try. With that said, I'll leave you at that. I'll let you enjoy my sweet addiction. So since the first part of Genshin is just a tutorial, which is kind of boring, I thought I'll just give you a quick montage and give you my thoughts on the tutorial itself. So first up, there's this character creator. No, there is there is no character creator. You thought, bitch, there is no character creator in Genshin. You can just pick if it's female or male. Now, normally, I would choose female because I love my waifus, but I also love to have a fictional harem of 3D waifus that love me. Next, the super evil waifu turned us into Minecraft Steve from Smash Brothers, obviously, and we kind of kept Isekai. We spawn and see Navi from Legend... Uh I mean Paimon, Paimon, yeah Paimon, which we will be hating for the rest of the video. Next up we found the evil weapon of mass destruction that will help cleanse this world of all evil with our help, the Dull Blade. I know, I know, I know. It sounds super epic and I would have never chosen another weapon for my main character. So let's equip the Dull Blade. Then I decided to not go the mainstream route, be a cool hipster and head on with climbing the mountain because we don't want to go the normal route. We try to be big brain. And then I almost killed myself doing that. So let's just proceed with the normal route. Time to build a party, but not before getting the full rage of the one and only Genshin Boar. <laughs> what? <laughs> he almost killed me, but I luckily survived. So I decided I want to get my revenge on that little fucker. And then <gasps> it's the way to submissive looking Venti, the most broken unit in the game, who was giving his dragon pet a massage. <laughs> well, I guess he didn't like that too much. But no worries, Amber is here to save the day. But even though she's considered useless, I believe that my impeccable valiant aim can make her shine. Okay, aim. <laughs> After fucking over some bokoblins, it's time to get to the city of dreams, Monster. Then I got a really fancy glider from Amber, which is really hard to maneuver, but thankfully it requires a license to fly, so I'm taking it. That's why I'm taking my time and slowly start to learn things because safety first and oh god, I'm fighting a big dragon 10,000 meters above the ground. For our brave efforts, we get to meet Kaya, the anime pirate, that teaches us a slice of his infinite pirate knowledge. Crunchyroll is for pussies. As a reward for our efforts, he brings us to the Knights of Weepdom, where we find Ada Ada and Billy Jean. Together we enter the dungeon and die of cringe. For real though, I don't know why I was so stupid to open the door and just jump straight down. I mean, that was just some IGN level gameplay for me. Now it's time to enter Kaya's dungeon and what the fuck are you doing, Kaya? We need to hurry the fuck up and you are doing cardio in my cutscene? What the fuck, man? Come on. After that, I discovered something really interesting, the ice boss. And I thought, my chance to clear one of the objectives early. Let's do the RRR dungeon, however. And with that, I finally completed the tutorial. So otherwise, we're done. There's only one more thing left to do, and that's to give Paimon what she deserves and slice her into sashimi. Ah, I'm, I mean to buy her some sashimi. So it's time to get to the gameplay and finally do the pulling. Okay, we. Na, let's see, let's see, let's see if we can, can get something. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, what is this? It's a book. Okay. We got a sword. We got another sword. We got a bow. Oh, those are all 10 wishes. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yo, we got him. Okay, he's cool, he's cool. Nice. I think he's good. I think he's good, I saw him in the trailer. 
Nice. Okay, let's equip him. After pulling Hazel and checking that off my checklist, I thought, why not do the other thing that I really wanted to do? And that is to discover that bug that I once saw in a YouTube short. Sadly though, my OBS footage kind of started lagging really heavily. And also the footage wasn't really interesting, so that's why I just put another compilation where I go around the world with Hazel at full speed. To finish everything off, we only had one more objective, and that was the final challenge of this run. Now do you see the funny thing about this boss is that it's actually super easy. Here is a clip of me in the future where I almost one shot the boss with Ganyu. However, here I had really decently leveled characters and the only character I can level right now because of my world level, which I could, can only raise by proceeding the story and I really didn't want to do that, was Hazel. And I didn't even have material enough to level him properly, so he only got up to level 20. After level 20 I needed to collect the sense materials and do the story quest and blah blah blah. So I decided fuck all this shit. I played Elden Ring, I'm a gamer and I will do this right now. And after countless hours of grinding, I couldn't do it. I decided man, this was a long day. I've been doing this for five hours now and I, I just don't have the patience to do this. But then I decided to give it one last try. And here is the epic run that I was talking about. Falcon Punch! Falcon Punch! <laughs> Fuck. Falcon Punch! No way. And so yes, this is how I concluded those challenges. Now I'll just let the video end with a clip of me in the past. So I'll give him the opportunity. Here you go, Alex from the past. With that, we officially concluded the Genshin Impact experience. We did Gacha, we did the boss, we did Genshin Secrets. What more do you want? We didn't even touch grass. So if you liked this video and if you liked the Genshin 2022 experience for noobs, then be sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.